explained about uh, calculating this particular side AD and that theorem is only called Pythagoras theorem and according to Pythagoras theorem AD square AD generally will be called hypotenuse what it is called hypotenuse hypotenuse and AX will be called what base and XD will be called what height and according to this Pythagoras theorem, we can write like this. This you can learn in your mathematics, but you have to take only formula from that mathematics and we have to apply here. That's it. So hypotenuse whole square is equal to base square plus height square. This is the formula. Okay. Base square plus height square. This is the formula. Yeshika. Okay, sir. Right, hypotenuse means which one? AD. So that only I wrote here. Base here. is AX, height is DX. Height is DX. AD is hypotenuse, isn't it? Yes, sir. AD right. is hypotenuse. Okay, now hypotenuse whole square is equal to, that means AD square or not? Yes, sir. Uh, AD square is equal to base square means AX square or not? AX is base. AX is base. Uh, AX square, can I write like this or not? Base square means. Yes, sir. Next, uh, height square means XD square or not? DX or XD, same only, no? DX is height. Okay, DX or XD, same only. Yeah. Right, XD whole square. That only I wrote now here, this point. Hypotenuse whole square is equal to base square plus height square. Right? Yes, sir. And our aim is to find out AD only, no? Yeah. Uh, so, AD square is equal to AX value there or not? How much is there AX value? AX value is 30 meter. So, 30 I substituted here. DX is there. DX how much is there? DX is 40 meter. So, 40 I substituted here in this formula. See here, this step. 30 whole square plus 40 whole square is there or not here? Yeah. Right. Tell me, uh, 30 whole square is how much? 30 whole square, do you know? 30 into 30. How much it will be? 60. Uh, 30 into 30. Sorry. 90. 30 into 30 is 90. 90 or 900? So, you said 30 into 30 into can you repeat it? 30 into 3 30 how much is 30 into 30 right ah. it's 900 so 900 i wrote here. isn't it yeah and uh, 40 into 40 40 square means 40 into 40 how much it will be 8 sorry 1600, no? 4 into 4, 16. 1600 or not? Yes, yeah, sir. Right. So here, 900 plus 1600. How much you will get? 900 plus 1600. How much it will be? 2500. Very good. So 2500, I wrote AD square is equal to. Okay. Okay. Uh, AD square means, can I write like this? AD into AD. Can I write like this? AD. Yes, right. 2500, I am writing like this. 50 into 50. Can I write like this? Yes, sir, you can. 50 into 50, 2500 only, no? Yeah. Right. Now tell me, 1 AD will be equal to how much? 1 AD will equal to. Now 2 ADs are equal to 250 is here. Then 1 AD will be equal to. 150 only, no? Here AD into AD. 50 into 50. 1 AD will yeah. be equal to 150 and another AD will be equal to 1, another 50. Another 50. Both and of them are 250s and, huh. and that's. 2500. Okay, that means AD will be equal to 50 or not. Okay, can we write like this? 
Yeah, AD is equal to 50. So AD will be 50 meter. AD is a uh, displacement or not here? Yeah, AD is a displacement. So displacement will be how much here? 50, 50 meter. meter. And the total distance how much we cover? 110 meter. Already we calculated here. Isn't it? Okay. So distance will be 110 meter. Displacement will be 50 meter. Which is the option here? Yeah. That's clear. Uh, now uh, it is option C or not? Which option is right in this uh, particular answer? Sir? So it's option C. Very good. So option C will be right answer. This option is right. 110 and 50 meter is there. And here 110 is there, but uh, displacement how much is there here? 40 meter, which is wrong. Isn't it? Yeah, so it's the displacement is 50 meter. Okay. Now in this way, we have to solve. Maybe you understood. So this is somewhat typical problem for you as you have to know about right angular triangle. If you know about right angular triangle, you can understand easily. But it will be there in your mathematics. Okay. Right. Now, fast oscillatory motion is called what? Vibratory. Very good. Vibratory. Why? Because when fast it is oscillatory motion, it only will so it will be a. right very good so answer will be a vibratory motion next swinging of a pendulum is an example of uh, sir, periodic motion periodic or uh, non periodic tell me Pratnya. periodic right it is a periodic motion very good swinging of a pendulum is an example of periodic motion Motion of a body in a circular path around a fixed point or a fixed axis is called. Uh, is moving in a circular path. Then uh, what type of motion you call it as? Sir, rotatory motion. Rotatory motion. Circular yes. path is moving. Yes, sir. It will be rotatory because it's moving around a fixed point and or a fixed axis. Mm -hmm. For a circular motion, fixed axis will not be. Fixed axis will not be. Fixed axis will be there for a circular motion also. It will move in a circular path. But the difference is axis will not move through the body in case of rotatory motion. Axis will move through the body in a circular motion. That is the only change. So if an object is moving in a circular path, then definitely it will be called circular motion only, not rotatory motion. Okay? Ishika. Okay, so uh, straight line motion is also known as linear. Very good, linear motion. Jessica, got you, got sir. So, yeah, but I, I can see the I can see only this slide motion of a body in a circular path. That's this slide I can see. Now, straight line motion is also known as this. Uh, you can see. So I, I all I see is motion of a body in a circular path. Okay, now, now change it. No Still I'm able to see the same thing. Ah, Pragya, want to refresh it? Sir, what? Can you see the question here? Yes, sir. I can see the questions pretty clearly. Neha, tell me your answer. So, can you repeat the question? Right. Which of the following shows linear uh, rotational as well as periodic motion? Which of the following shows linear? It, it must be linear, it must be rotational as well as periodic Sir, C part. Wheels of the car in, moving at a constant velocity? Yes, sir. Is a linear uh, as well as rotatory and periodic, isn't it? Yes, sir. Right. So this is the right answer. Blades of a moving fan will not have a linear motion. As you know, it is a rotatory. Just now I explained about it. Movement of Earth around the sun 
it is periodic rotational but it is not linear so wheels of the car moving at a constant velocity will be rotational uh, as well as uh, linear and periodic also isn't it yes sir All right the motion of the wheels of a horse driven cart motion of a wheels of the horse driven cart uh, sir c part again right rotational and translatory very good next the motion of arms of the soldier marching along the road oscillatory very good why because he his hand will move to Nothing. and fro its main position isn't it yes sir so oscillatory motion right so now i can see it okay the motion of the second hand in a clock is um so so you are saying huh? rotational right it is rotational sir i will also i will do the thing with i think it's b huh i think it's b okay right a passenger inside moving bus in compared to the road that means he will be in a state of motion or rest motion right passenger in a moving bus is in motion compared to the road but in rest when compared to the another passenger in the bus isn't it it's easy, yeah it's a c motion and rest okay now uh, the motion of a striker across carrom board is the example of rectilinear very good rectilinear motion that is translatory motion a boy standing on the ground the drop ball from certain height the ball is in state of dash with respect to the ball motion which motion which type of a motion sir, motion sir i think motion only and translatory motion or linear motion a boy standing on the ground drops a ball in height linear. the ball is in a straight up motion sir, was... respect to the ball sir it's it's in translatory motion it's going to move in translatory motion that means uh, he is in a state the ball is in a state of motion or rest the boy ball is in a state of motion or rest according to ball motion right this is the motion next is the body moving from one place to another place is in a state of motion right motion. state of motion a person sitting in a moving plane is that rest with respect to uh, other passengers other passengers very good other passengers a tree in a park is uh, in a state of with respect to rest. the ground. rest very good it is rest A book lying on a table is an example of dash with respect to table. Rest, rest. Right. That means B only, you know? Yeah, B, B. Yeah. Right. So these are about questions uh, which are related with uh, this particular uh, question. Maybe I hope so you understood uh, what is distance displacement. Uh, translatory motion, rotatory motion, oscillatory motion, like that. Is it clear? Yes, sir. It's understandable. Right. Uh, what about? Uh, sir, it's crystal clear. Right. Uh, what about you, Neha? Is it clear? Any doubts are there related to this? And related to that uh, second session, only uh, few topics are there. Uh, one or two topics are there. uh you are having e book with you pragya yes sir i am having e book all right uh, yashika you are also having e book uh, and uh, let us refer that e book only small topics are there which are very very small topics 
and uh, once you go through them uh, if you have any doubt uh, during next uh, session that means next uh, whatever chapter is there uh, uh, when it starts uh, i will explain little bit uh, related to that and uh, will be completed or else you you can understand if you read it if anything is not understandable uh, what you do is you keep them in uh, doubt box and uh, people will ask me that uh, question and i will clarify your doubt okay okay sir what is neha i don't get one question big answer question what is that aha uh -huh. distance and displacement okay that only no neha distance and displacement okay i will say again try to understand here only for 2 uh, 3 minutes i will explain and uh, we will finish today okay right suppose uh, neha you only started uh, from this point okay you are there at point a and you reached the point b again neha is there here now tell me neha how you can go from a to b you may go like this r you may go like this isn't it neha message me you may go in a first path you may go in a second path right now first path is longer path or shorter path longer second path is smaller shorter only neha again second path is also longer second path is a shorter one only no right now this second path generally will be called displacement you remember this that's it shortest distance from initial point to final point always will be called displacement sorry displacement and other than the shortest path this will be called distance neha have you got uh, now shortest path will be called displacement other than the shortest path will be called a distance okay uh -huh. we need to calculate it by using the right angular triangle we have to find there why because we found a position initial and final position d so from that we calculated so that will be from mathematics not from the physics so you have to learn about uh, right angular triangle and according to that right angular triangle we calculated so once you go through that slide if you have uh, that slide take a screenshot and then uh, try to understand about it okay will you take a screenshot uh, related to this calculation neha neha once you take a screenshot and once you follow it then you can understand so already i kept there that slide only okay take screenshot uh, firstly finish this neha according to pythagoras theorem we have to calculate and pythagoras theorem i gave already and that pythagoras theorem you use what is that pythagoras theorem you have to learn it from your mathematics okay have you taken screenshot okay right uh, so if uh, still any doubt is there i will clarify it in uh, next session even though it is not related with this particular chapter okay right so thank you for being with me today for uh, more than uh, 20 minutes extra time and uh, good night for everyone i hope everyone understood clearly except this one this one is a little bit uh, uh, tougher one for your level so uh, i will explain in so the again everything's clear have a nice day sir thank you so much right thank good you night. Good, good night, night. Good, good night sir good night bye good sir night. thank you bye, bye. ridima you are not giving any reply at least uh, at the end of the session give me have you understood or not ridima so you are in a listening mode only and you are not giving uh, at all any reply Ridima are you there or not